everyone, I'm Kevin Jory with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Saint Alexander of Bergamo was a Theban soldier in the Roman army during the third century. Now, Christianity was extremely popular among the Copts of Thebes, and the legion to which Alexander belonged was made up of entirely Christians. But with the rising conversions to Christianity in Thebes came the intensifying persecution by the Romans. The most intense persecution of Christians was enacted by the ruler Diocletian from 248 to 305. So intense was the attempt to eradicate Christianity from the Roman world that the Coptic Christians adopted the day of Diocletian's election as emperor into their calendar to mark the beginning of the Year of the Martyrs, where an estimated 20,000 lives were lost. After fighting for Rome and defeating the uprising in Gaul, it was discovered that the soldiers of the Theban Legion were Christians. A decree was set forth that every soldier must sacrifice to the Roman god emperors and prostrate themselves in worship. When the soldiers refused, the emperor Maximian ordered the decimation of the legion where every tenth man was executed. When the surviving soldiers still refused to worship the Roman leaders, the entire legion was destroyed, all except for one. Alexander managed to escape death and fled to Milan. However, he was recognized while in hiding and was arrested. While imprisoned, he was visited by Saints Fidelis and Maternus who helped him to escape. He then fled to Como, but was once again apprehended for his Christian faith and was sent back to Milan and thrown into prison, where he was condemned to death by beheading. But God was not done with Alexander yet, and at that moment of carrying out his sentence, the executioner's arm suddenly went stiff. He was literally unable to swing the axe to kill him. After this failed attempt on his life, he was sent back to prison. Amazingly, Alexander managed to escape yet again, this time fleeing to Bergamo, where he stayed with a man named Crotatius. Cretaceous tried to convince him to lay low and remain silent so that he might live throughout the persecution, but Alexander was done hiding. He chose instead to become a preacher proclaiming the gospel in the streets of Bergamo, where he converted many souls. Among them were two prominent citizens, Firmus and Rusticus who later became martyrs. Then, on August 26th in 303, Alexander was arrested for the last time. He was executed by beheading. Today, in Colonna, Italy, on the same spot of his execution stands the church of San Alessandro. Alexander escaped death almost too many times to count, and for what? It was clear that God had plans for his life, but they didn't really take root until he stopped running. It wasn't until he chose to stay where he was and openly share the gospel that we see him influence and convert hearts. Saint Alexander was a man of conviction, a soldier, a Christian, and a martyr who finally chose to stand his ground and spread the gospel no matter what consequence it brought to him. You can only run from the dragon for so long before you have to turn around and face it. He chose Christ above his own safety and ultimately his own life. May we all find the same courage to choose Christ in our own lives. St. Alexander of Bergamo, pray for us.